One of the uh, main types of perinatal stroke is a venous thrombosis, and there's debate in the field about whether we should treat those with anticoagulation or not. The issue is that a lot of time, a sinus venous thrombosis will also have hemorrhage. So there's concern that you could increase the risk of bleeding if you treat. On the other hand, it might be possible that proceeding with anticoagulation could make the stroke resolve more rapidly and improve long-term neurodevelopmental outcomes. So we really need studies to provide stronger evidence so physicians know whether or not to proceed with anticoagulation. Perinatal stroke is a multifactorial process, and there are risk factors from the maternal side, um, whether a mother has used cocaine during pregnancy, for example, or had preeclampsia or prolonged rupture of membranes. Then there are risk factors that occur in the delivery room, like needing to use instruments for the delivery or an emergency cesarean section. And then finally, there are neonatal risk factors. Um, does the infant have congenital heart disease? Do they have meningitis? Um, are they dehydrated? And oftentimes, all of those um, come into play, and there's usually more than one risk factor when you look back at a particular infant who developed a stroke. There are so many people involved in neonatal stroke, um, obstetricians, hematologists, neurologists, um, neonatal experts, and I think what happens a lot, especially in an area where there's not a lot of evidence, is each time a patient presents, the teams are scrambling to come up together with a plan. And I think what would be most helpful is if those experts come together ahead of time and make some standardized procedures for their institution about whether they're going to do thrombophilia testing, for example, under what scenarios would they use anticoagulation in a cerebral sinus vein thrombosis. And then the, the care is more standardized, the message is more clear to all of the providers, patients, families. I think that we have a lot of information in perinatal stroke about the risk factors. What we don't know is how important each of those risk factors are. We also don't have a lot of understanding about how our treatment of neonatal stroke affects the long-term developmental outcomes, which is what's most important for these babies, is are they developing cerebral palsy or learning um, difficulties later on in life? I think, I wish the field was moving forward faster. I think the barrier is that these are complicated, sick babies, and it's very hard to do clinical trials in that setting. So I think um, the field needs to come together and use some large databases to try to um, gather information on these problems.